a nurse's work is never done. I'm going to open up a case. We have a new patient. I uh, have to meet the caregiver at the house. They're gonna be doing a live-in. So the caregiver is moving in. Uh, I have everything. I've got my computer, got my scrubs on, got my sweatshirt, I'm ready to rumble. Started the morning as per usual with my coffee and hot chocolate. It is a cold one at 28 degrees and why am I always hot? <laughs> why am I always hot? Ah, I'm hot, it's 28 degrees and I'm hot. That's weird. Uh, we have a very busy weekend. Tomorrow we're going to my mother-in-law's for Christmas Eve because uh, she lives down the shore and she's in her 80s and we're not making her travel up this way. And then on Christmas Day, we will be going to my son Kevin's. And it's gonna be a great weekend. I'm gonna take you along. I don't know if this video is gonna be in two separate ones, but um, regardless, I'm gonna take you along with me today. Uh, and after this patient, I have another one to see, but Jess is coming with me to that one. So it's just, it's a very busy day, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead to my first patient's house and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm back home. <laughs> that um, was the most beautiful scenario, guys. It turned out that when I walked into this client's house, I actually know who she is, not in a personal way, but she worked years ago somewhere that I used to go to and I recognized her immediately it was such a nice reunion. We hugged and it was great. So anyway, um, it's been more than two and a half hours. It's been about three and a half hours. And I just had a lemon tart bar, courtesy of my friend Donna, who sent me these. Thank you, Donna. I love you. Um, so now I'm going to go inside. I'm going to get something to drink. I'm going to get my thing of water. And then I'm going to head to my next client's house um to do a walk through this is the part of home care that's fun to me i get to walk through the house i do a safety check i make sure and make recommendations if they need anything such as grab bars do they need wheelchair do they need anything smoke detectors anything i make sure the house is safe before i put in the caregiver to take care of the client and this client is in rehab right now. So he will be coming out in the next couple of days. So we're going to get everything ready. So when he comes home, it's a nice, easy transition. I'll bring a fueling with me. And after that, I have no other clients to see today. So I don't know what's happening. Jess and I will be out and about. So I don't know. I think I have just a couple more things that I want to do um, for the weekend. I'm at a loss. I need coffee and water. So let's go inside and get that. All right, guys. So before I head out, I did have a big glass of water, but my true addiction, oh, it's this Coke Zero. I have one a day. I don't think there's anything wrong with it because I enjoy it. Optivia is very restrictive and you cannot live with everything restricted. So diet soda technically is zero. Uh, calories, zero, anything. There is a little bit of sodium in here. Let me look, actually, let's see. 40 milligrams, which is really nothing. So I do enjoy one a day uh, and I don't count it as anything. But anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about was the last two weeks on Abdivia and the weigh-ins and how it was going. You know it's going well because I've said it on Instagram, Facebook. If you don't follow me on either platform, please do. The links are in the description box where to follow me. First week was, of course, the best. The first week you always lose bloat. The water, you're getting rid of your glycogen stores. So the weight is always the best week one. I shouldn't say always the best because there are some weeks where you lose more than not. Um, so my first week I lost 4.2 pounds. That was week one. Um, this second week that just happened, I lost another 1.5, which is amazing, making my total 5.7 pounds in two weeks. Here's the thing. Optivia is helping me, guys. I'm on the road, you see, all day long, every day. It just, for me, 
helps, it makes sense. I'm not tempted to go to a drive-thru to eat crazy things. Like I, I started drifting in that direction, as you know, and even though I was using the Weight Watchers app, it just seemed the Weight Watchers app was a little bit easier to do when I was actually home rather than being on the road, whatever, doesn't matter. I'm gonna lose the weight this time. And when I transition off of this, I'll likely go back to Weight Watchers just so I can track. But it's winter time. We are already, <laughs> it's gonna be Christmas in two days. The weight has got to be off by the spring. It absolutely has to, because I refuse to go another season of heat and hot and be uncomfortable in my own skin. I am uncomfortable with the way I feel when I sleep. I'm uncomfortable with, it's more than just vanity. I'm uncomfortable. You know, when you have extra weight on your body, you get tired. It's not always easy to do the activities that you wanna do. I feel like I'm just not at my peak. And that's because I have extra weight. It just is, you can make all the excuses in the world. When you have extra weight, you're always hot. You're, you're like, I just, I, it's affecting me. And maybe this isn't the best option for any of you out there. Doesn't matter to me. I, I'm just going to do it. So I'm down 5.7 pounds in two weeks. I'm proud of myself. Let's keep it going. I'm in a very good headspace. Very good. I constantly think like there was the other night where I kind of wanted something. And I kept saying to myself, you don't have a long extended winter, you have spring coming and you're gonna wanna wear short sleeves, tank tops. I will not do that right now. I feel flabby, I have no muscle definition. I just want a couple of months to go by while it's cold out, while I can wear a sweatshirt, while I can wear a jacket, long sleeves. You guys know, you know what I'm talking about because if you didn't, you wouldn't be watching my channel. Be kind, because um, most of you have been, I will say that. I, I have no nothing bad to say. On occasion, somebody says something and I just, I don't acknowledge it. I'm tired of it. Um, so that's my life. This is what I do. Um, I did, how cute, I got um, from the girl that works in my office. I got a little Christmas gift. Let me share it with you because she is so creative. So. She made a homemade gift. I think it's awesome. Comes in a container. Look at this. It's homemade. It's called Christmas Cookie. Woo! <laughs> Christmas Cookie Sugar Scrub by Jen. And when you open it, I have to say, the first thing right off the bat, look at this. It looks like a dessert. I'm like, this thing's gonna trigger me to wanting sweets, but no. It is, I, oh, she sent one home for Brittany. Brittany used hers last night and wow, guys. If you ever need a gift, let me know. I will send you her name and number and I'm sure she'd be happy to make these for you. All right, it's the end of the night and I'm gonna make this lean and green. This is two egg white wraps. They're called Egg Life, I think and one uh, laughing cow wedge. So one laughing cow, two egg wraps here equal my three condiments. I have a little bit of lettuce on each one. And on top of that, I am going to put the burgers that I made. So I have this little bit going on one side and another little bit going on the other. This equals five ounces of cooked ground beef. I seasoned it with Mrs. Dash, and I'm gonna try to wrap them up. It didn't work, <laughs> so what I had to do was eat half of that little burger, and then I was able to wrap it up. So that's how I did it. I'm gonna end today here, guys, because tomorrow's Christmas Eve. There's a lot going on. Happy Christmas Eve to everyone, and I'll be filming tomorrow, so I will see you over the weekend. Love you all, bye.